When you look at these uh, uh, pictures, what do you see? You see a pristine forest, a fantastic forest, but under this forest, a vibrant economy is happening. Legal and illegal, formal and informal. With this tech talk, I want to tell you how technologies can help the billion of people that depend on forests for their livelihood and for their income to really uh, increase their livelihood and improve the, 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 their landscape and look after the restoration of their landscape through smart technologies. Here we are in Ghana, where 15 years ago, camera traps were used only by scientists that wanted to monitor biodiversity for maybe, maybe making a publication. And now, this technology is used by communities to look after their most important assets, which is the biodiversity they had, and their income depends on this biodiversity. And in Ghana, they are restoring entire corridors to really increase the productivity of the land and allow the, 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 the biodiversity to be there and the animals to be there. They depend on these important assets. But the camera, not only uh, uh, it traps uh, lions, but also poachers. And this is helping to bring a lot of accountability at the local level. Here we are in Brazil where in one of the most remote areas of Brazil, far more remote than any farmland, you can reach these places only uh, by river, on boats. And technology is helping these people to uh, reach a multi-billion dollar market of cosmetic products coming from the Amazon, and uh, uh, essential oil, nuts, things that are extremely important for, uh, for cosmetics. So through technology, they are reaching these multi-billion dollar markets. And again, landscape re restoration and landscape management, it's essential for the livelihood of these people. More than 30% of the income of these people depends on these products. Here we are in Liberia, where many, many years ago, the incomes from the timber industry were really just fueling the war. Uh, the UN imposed a sanction on Liberia because on the timber coming from Liberia because of that. And uh, there were no revenues going into the coffer of the government. So uh, the lifting of the UN sanction on timber were predicated on having a barcode system, a system that would track the uh, logs from the stamp to the port. A, a barcode system, a tracking system was put in place, the sanctions were lifted, but most importantly, uh, revenue started to flowing back in the coffer of the government and they were used for development, for education, for health, for landscape restoration in the degraded parts of Liberia. Here we are in Madagascar, again, incredible problems of, uh, of uh, deforestation and degradation in Madagascar. And uh, uh, through uh, the use of radar, through the use of satellite images, uh, the boats were identified that were illegally trafficking uh, rosewood, which is one of the most precious wood in the world. It is one of the few uh, wood that is listed in the CITES endangered species list and was trafficked between Madagascar and Singapore. And it was worth $50 million. And now we are helping Madagascar to see how they can use these uh, uh, revenues and invest them in uh, uh, protection, in conservation of the landscape, in restoration of the degraded landscape. Here we are in Indonesia, where, as you know, Two years ago, they had one of the worst, worst fires and uh, that caused a lot of problems, not only in Indonesia, but even in countries close by. And these forest fires were monitored through satellite images, through drones. And the World Bank was able to, uh, to public a report that was really looking at what was the cost of these fires. And the cost was calculated in more than $60 billion. 
And this report came out just around the, the, the conversation that were happening in Paris for the COP, and it really helped to contribute to change the conversation at the COP in Paris. And after that, also, the Pitland Restoration Agency was created. Here we are um, on crime scene investigation. As you know, wildlife trafficking is one of the worst uh, uh, issues that we are facing in our landscape. And it's really an international issue. Uh, the World Bank is helping uh, many countries to identify where the, the, the task, where the, the the, the task, the trophies are coming from. And this helps not only to identify the hotspots of poaching, which in this case for elephants are Tanzania and the areas uh, around Gabon, but also help, we, are, we are joining hands with Interpol and with uh, CITES to really stop this international crime. And here we are just... Uh, uh, you know, f uh, forest uh, uh, degradation and uh, deforestation are contributing, as you know, as has been discussed in this uh, uh, Global Landscape Forum, to more than one-third of, uh, of the emission, and they can really be part also of the solution. And so Earth observations are used uh, by the World Bank and by many partners to really keep track and monitor what is happening on the landscape. And what I want to say is that we are not doing this in one country, we are doing this in 50 countries, we are doing this at scale. And now, why don't we think about some crazy technology for the future? Why not thinking about using drones to replant and restore degraded landscape in places that are too difficult to reach or, or, or too dangerous to reach. This has been done in Thailand and in one day they planted more than 100,000 uh, trees. Well, I hope that now when you look at this picture, you not only see the forest for the tree, but the tree for the forest. Uh, smart technologies help us be forest smart. Thank you. <laughs>